This is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do a very exciting unboxing, for me at least, um, because this is my first ever purchase from Jaded Gem Shop. They are a small shop over in the US um, and they do diamond paintings, obviously, and I've been wanting to try one for ages because I've heard really, really, really good things about the quality of these, particularly the quality of, of the squares. Um, and there's loads and loads of designs on the website, um, lots of really big, nice, interesting ones, ones that have choices between rounds and squares and different sizes. So you should definitely check it out. Um, I've been looking at their website for a while, but I hadn't made a purchase until now because the thing about buying from small shops with diamond paintings is that they do not have the economy of scale that the really big companies have. Um, they don't have things like deals with shipping companies that can reduce the shipping cost. So it really does cost a lot more money, which isn't a reflection on them, you know, that their, their costs are higher and, and they need to make money from what they're doing. But it does mean I have to be a lot choosier about buying from them. But I think you'll, you'll see what I mean when I get into this painting, when you see, <laughs> when I say that this one, I just, I had to buy. And there was a discount code available when I bought this. So um, they were running a promotion for Drills and Chills, which is a diamond painting event run by a few content creators in the US. And JD Gem Shop had a 20% off discount code. Um, I'm not sure if it's still valid or not. Feel free to, to check them out. You didn't have to be participating in Drills and Chills. So I used that and it just brought the price down a little bit. So I'm gonna get into this now. I just covered up my details with these post-it notes because I wanted to show you that it came like this really nicely in this thick plastic cover over the box and then these stickers. I was pleasantly surprised when this came this week as well because um, when you order from them, it does say, I think they advise something like it can, it can take up to about 12 weeks um, to send your order out. Um, so I was prepared for that, I was expecting that, um, but actually I ordered on, 7th of September and I got it to me here in the UK on October the 13th so I think I've been quite lucky there. It came by UPS um, and the shipping alone cost about £43. This is this is what I mean about how I, I cannot buy from shops like this very often but let me show you this. So about a month ago I did an unboxing from Mooney Made and I explained at the time all the same sorts of things that I've just covered now that they're a small shop I've wanted to try but because of the nature of being a small shop they're a lot more expensive than other shops but then this painting had come along that I really really had to have by an artist called Cat Fedora. Well, <laughs> browsing Facebook, as you do in diamond painting groups, someone shared this picture that Jada Gem Shop has by the same artist now. Can you see it? <laughs> you can see a little glimpse of it. So it's basically a companion piece to the first one I bought and it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to get in and have a look. I also paid, I think it was five pounds extra or something like that for, um, for them to chart and include ABs. So that's an optional thing. You can pay a little less to just have standard drills. How am I gonna get into this? I can't find any sort of bit to kind of get into. <laughs> uh, I'll just have to attack it at this end, I think, because it's wrapped so tightly to it <laughs> that I can't get in. I made enough of a hole, yes. So yeah, the painting after I used that discount cost me 58 pounds, um, which isn't that bad actually. So the painting itself isn't the bit that costs much more than other you know, good quality shops that license their artwork and all that kind of thing. Let me just do that off camera because that's really annoying as a noise. There. <laughs> um, it, was, it was the shipping really. So if you had the money to buy a few paintings at once, the shipping may not go up that much and that's probably a more cost effective way to buy from them. Um, but yeah, that, that wasn't what I was looking to do. Oh. Okay, finally got in. <laughs> Very well wrapped. 
So, nice simple white box with a jaded gem shop sticker on there. And I'm going in. Ooh, first feel of the canvas is nice. So let me see what I have got. Oh yes, I, I'd, I'd kind of forgotten about this, the special way that they do the, um, the, the printing on the canvas. I'll get into that in a minute. So I've got some washi tape that's fallen out. So I guess there's a tool kit in here somewhere. Let me get everything out. See what I get. And okay. So I don't seem to have a tool kit and I can't remember, so I'll look it up. That's probably something that I chose because I can't imagine they just never send a tool kit. Um, but yeah, I, if I get that option, I normally do say not to send them because I just, I have so many of those bits and bobs and I don't really need them. But I've got some washi tape, so that's always handy. Two nice big packs of bills. Look at those beautiful colors. <laughs> And I have got a sticker sheet. And does it have a better picture? Yes, it does. So here is the image. It's so beautiful. And yeah, I'll, I'll put up a picture of Nightfall, the other cat fedora one that I bought for Mooney Maid. So have a look at that on the screen now. And then you'll see what I mean, that they just go together. It's, I, I mean, it's the same artist, so the same style, but... More than that, they kind of feel like a set to me. I'm not sure if they were designed to be that way or if that's just how it feels. Um, and looking at this, I assume that means I've got three ABs for that upgrade I paid for. And it's 60 by 60 centimetres. Can't remember if I said that already. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. And 52 colours. Yeah, three ABs. So got plenty going on here. And this is just um, like normal sticker printer paper like I buy myself um, for my own shop so I guess this is all very much being done in-house um, but you know that's fine by me I wonder how they cut out the bits I've never really thought about that before anyway <laughs> I love it when shops send sticker sheets it makes kitting up so much easier and I'm loving these colors Ooh, let's have a look so I'll get some of them out to have a peek. Ah! Okay. Right. So, <laughs> they are not on a big strip like I assumed. A lot of these are individual bags and potentially multiple bags for the same colour. Is there a way to work out how that happens? So that's 772, that's that colour. But it doesn't say anything other than the number of drills. So there's a drill count, which gives you an idea of how many there are of them. I've got some colours with several thousand and, and others with just a few hundred. But yeah, that's going to make kitten up interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I haven't had that in a while. I think the last time I had that happen was Ever Moment. And to be honest, it did make for quite a time-consuming kitting up. But then others are in a strip, or at least a strip of that colour. So, yeah. Anyway, never mind. That is fine. I was just hoping I could find the ABs, but I'm a little bit concerned. Ah, oh, there's some. I, don't, I want to be able to pat these away is the thing. I might have already gone too far for that to be an option so I've got a lovely grey AB there and is that more that's that's that one isn't it sorry I'm muttering to myself as I figure it out this is the thing because I normally unbox from similar companies a lot of the time whereas this one I'm discovering brand new anyone else out there bought from JD Gem Shop I know they're getting really popular particularly in the US where obviously it's it's a little bit cheaper because you don't have to pay the exorbitant international shipping that these carriers charge and that shops have to pass on to us. Um, yeah, okay. So I, 
you know what I'm like I hate getting all of the drills messed up because then I never get them away neatly again so I'm not going to go any further with that but I will just pick up a couple of bags to check and you never ever know until you actually get them in a tray and start working with them but they look pretty even I see a few knobbly bits nothing major they look like resin drills which is what I would expect yeah they're definitely resin drills I would be surprised if a shop like this was doing the cheaper acrylic drills at this point resin are just so much more popular for obvious reasons they're just the quality stands out so yeah they look pretty good I think of course, until you actually start placing them on the canvas and lining them up in a tray, it's pretty hard to assess drills. But I have heard, as I said, from many people that they're good quality, so I'm looking forward to trying them. It's all about how they fit for me on the canvas as well. I don't like gapping, I don't like popping. So I'm just going to tuck all these back in here. There we go that's that's neat enough I think <laughs> as long as I can do it up now because I want to be able to roll them back up just like they were to store and it's quite a narrow box so I hope I can manage that but we shall see oh I wonder how they get they manage to do these in the first place because it must be very tricky what a life skill, eh? Rolling up drill bags tightly. Uh, I'm not sure I can get this done up. Right, I'll put that to the side and stop faffing with it and deal with it later. That's my issue, not yours. <laughs> so I'm not going to get into these ones, but I do see another AB there. And... Not sure where the last one is. Can I see what colours those are? It looks like two greys and a sort of teal colour. So, yeah, cool. I'm glad I got the upgrade. I do like having a few special drills in a painting. It's like, it's not a deal breaker, but I do like it for a bit of extra interest. Right. Oh, there's something else tucked in here. What is that? Is that release paper? Oops. release paper that's a nice touch quite big pieces there so that will last me well and anything else tucked in here I don't think so so in terms of material it feels good and sturdy it's got a nice scalloped edge and it's got that kind of cotton backing that's getting very popular and I'm going to roll it back on itself so I can show you what it looks like Right, here we go. Here it is. <gasps> okay, so the thing that I had forgotten about Jada Gem Shop and the way they do things is like the, the canvas doesn't look much like the picture. Normally with a square painting, you can really see the picture through it. But she does this kind of inverse colour thing. Um, I'm not sure if it's an inverse colour thing in this because some of the colours do match up. I'd seen people do them where it was like um, like a kind of photo negative and this doesn't feel like that to me. I think it's just that the symbols are quite large within the squares. Let me zoom in so you can see better. So you can see there the symbols really kind of fill up the square which is unusual, like I don't normally see that. So it makes it quite busy looking. And I think that's going to be cool because it's really going to be 
like you're really going to see the picture emerging from the background a lot more because I don't think you could really look at this and pick out much of that beautiful design in it. You know, you can see bits like the curtains and the candles and I guess the cat. Oh, I need to zoom you out so you can see what I mean. <laughs> um, you know, you can see over here curtains, candles, cat, books. So you can pick out details, but it's not like the kind of crystal clear canvas you get from other shops. A few wrinkles and bumps, that's fine. I will peel back the cover and flatten it when I need to, but it's going to get rolled back up in a minute, so it's lying flat enough. This film is really thick and sturdy feeling. Um, so yeah, it, it adds to the sort of weighty effect of the canvas. It feels like a good quality canvas. And I've got some details on there like her social media details, her logo, the name and the artist name. So I said it was a cat fedora piece. I don't think I mentioned that the piece is called The Apprentice. So I love that. The cat is The Apprentice. And just one legend on the side here. Um, I will probably run that through my, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> my printer that's got a copying function so that I can have a key that I can move around because I won't be able to see that all the time. Um, when this is on my easel, I'll probably only be able to see parts of it. So I'll make myself a little key um, that I can have elsewhere or indeed copy this before I take the stickers off. Wow. It's, it's going to be really different, isn't it? I don't know why it makes such a difference that the symbols are bigger um, and I assume and hope that that means that the square drills are going to have a nice snug fit because otherwise if they didn't fill these squares you'd see the symbols poking out around them and that would not look good and that would not fit with the quality of the finishes that I'm seeing from Jaded Gem Shop paintings. I just can't wait to have both of these paintings done and do you know what? I may even hang them on the wall. That is how much I like this artwork. And I never hang any paintings because I don't have the wall space. I've only got one up. <laughs> I do diamond painting because I enjoy diamond painting and I enjoy looking at the finished pieces, but I, I just don't have room to display them. Um, and I, I mean, I could afford framing in the sense that I could not buy other things to frame them, but it's, it is expensive. And frankly, I would prefer to spend that money on more diamond paintings. Um, so yeah, I think these might be an exception though. And this one comes with this sort of border around. I could even possibly do a cheap version of just, you know, using that as a kind of border because it complements the colors of the painting quite well. Anyway, I am going to pan over this. It'll be a little different to normal because, you know, I'm not sure how much the actual picture is going to come out, but it'll just be interesting for you, hopefully, to see the, the canvas a bit more up close. And then I will come back and give you some final thoughts. So there you go. Very clearly printed, as you'll have seen, there's not going to be any issues telling what symbol is what, I don't think. Um, and I don't see any at a glance on here that are confusing. I mean, sometimes I don't work that stuff out until I start, to be honest, but 
they look pretty easily distinguishable at a glance. I'm just gonna, this is normally the point where I pick out where special drills go, like A, Bs, and I might have a quick bash at it, but I think I'm going to struggle to spot them amongst the busyness. Um, so let me see, there's a gray T, a, a gray background A, and those three dots. Can I spot any of them? I see some T's and A's around here. Um, I wonder if they're in this cat. Some are, I see some of the A's and a few T's, sort of peppered around the place. I wonder if you don't do the AB upgrade, what happens? I suppose they're just normal gray drills or whatever. But yeah. And then the three dots I see up here in the window section, that nice night, night sky peeking through that lighting there. But yeah, I see bits of them around, but I, I think this is one that I'm kind of going to discover as I'm going along. Um, more so than I normally do. You know, if I open a piece from my other favourite companies, you know, Diamond Art Studio, Diamond Art Club, all, all those, you can normally just see everything when you look at it. And I don't feel like I can do that. You may be faring slightly better than me in the viewfinder, that's of, often the way, but I like it for a change, you know. It's a bit like almost a middle ground between a normal look, <laughs> for want of a better word, and something like a mystery canvas or you know, the blank canvases that you use for cross-stitch conversions. I mean, I'm kind of waffling a bit and you might think I'm, I'm talking nonsense, but to me, the effect of this is, is quite different and it just feels like it will be a slightly new challenge. Let me know if you've worked on one of these before, if you did find it to be different or if it was just like any other canvas when you got working on it, because that is also possible. I mean, I'll work in sections and then, you know, I'm looking at this, having done a kind of square with my hand to look at what a section would be. I'm thinking there's going to be quite a lot of confetti in this, which is also why it looks very busy, I guess. Even in the sections that you think might have a bit more blocking, there's really not much. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a slow one, I think. And the nightfall one, I don't remember there being so much of that. So even though the finished artwork is, is going to look kind of similar and in tune, they're gonna be very different styles to work on. And that one's round and this is square, it's, it's cool. Because I, would, I actually wouldn't wanna do two that were too similar. Like I probably wouldn't get both pieces from the same company in the same rendering style in the same shape drills because I, I, I would get bored with that but this gives me enough difference that I will enjoy it. Okay, that's enough waffling on from me, but I'm, I was just really excited to share this with you. And yeah, I really enjoy trying pieces from new to me shops. Um, I hope that I'll be able to buy again from them in the future if I get on well with this one, but it, it's obviously not gonna be something I'm able to do that often. So I'm gonna really, really relish this one when I work on it. I think there were a couple of other cat fedora pieces on Jada Gem Shop's website as well. Um, and, the, and she has like cross stitch conversions she's got all, all ready to sell as a package and all sorts of interesting things going on. So it really is worth checking out her website. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed taking a look at this with me. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please consider dropping a like on the video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.